Hey, I'm Dr. Dave Harris, and I want to welcome you to this series of videos on video and television production. We're talking about video switchers, specifically about FX keys on our video switchers. Many professional video switchers will have FX keys. This is an ATEM switcher, one that I'm actually going to talk about as part of this video. This particular switcher has four different keys available to us. We've got a luma key, chroma key, a pattern key, and a DVE key. I'm going to give you just a little bit of information about these, but I do have additional videos on these different types of keyers that are available on our YouTube channel. First of all, we've got the luma key. The luma key uses the luminance of the picture to determine what needs to be keyed out. This is also called a self key because it just needs one source of video in order to perform the key. We could either key out the darkest areas of the image, meaning the black, or the lightest areas of the image, meaning the white. We also have the ability to do a chroma key. Chroma key will key out a specific color in the foreground, like a green screen, which is what I'm using on this particular series of videos. We've also got a pattern key where we could key out based on an internal pattern as part of the switcher, whether it be a square or a circle or something like that. And lastly, we have a DVE key. A DVE key allows us to do things like compress the foreground part of an image and place it on top of a background image. You might think of it as being something like a picture in picture. We're not talking about how those keyers are set up. We are talking about how to bring those keyers live in this video, and you'll have to consult the other videos on how to set up those specific sorts of keys. Right here, we've got the effects key bus. We've got the transition control area. Right here, we normally have the background where we're going to flip-flop between the program and preview bus, but we do have the ability in our transition control to select one of two keyers on this particular switcher. You may have three or four keyers, depending on the switcher that you're using. We've got the ability to do a single button push on the on air button. If I just push that button right there that says on, right now it's not lit up. I push that button, it's going to light up and it's going to be, it's going to bring key one live. I could also push the on button on key two, that's going to bring that live. Or I could just push the key one button here and then I could use the cut or the auto buttons or the T bar, which I have right here. I could actually bring that keyer live or take it out of live using the transition control buttons, cut, auto, or the T bar. Or I can do multiple button pushes at the same time. Let's say that I want to cut the camera, but at the same time, I want to bring key one and key two live. What I do is I just use three of my fingers. I push all three of those buttons at the same time. All three of them light up concurrently. And then when I push that cut button or the auto button, or when I use the fader bar, I can actually bring both of those keys live at the same time that I'm changing the background. So I might want to cut to a camera that has a person and at the same time have a character generated graphic that just has their name and title that will appear on screen at the same time. Lastly, if I want to change the setup of the keys, I do have the ability in the soft menu, I can select the effects keys. I have two keyers in this one, I can choose effect key one or key two, and then change those to the different settings that are available. And as I said, those are available in other videos on how to do that. This video is a part of a series of videos on television and video production. I invite you to our channel where we have playlists where these videos are organized. We're always updating these videos and adding more. So do subscribe if you want more videos added to your notification settings. And please visit our Patreon page if you want to consider donating to the cause to allow more videos to be produced. Thank you for your support. I'm Dr. Dave Harris.